Hello, welcome to the next video here in my developer series for Big Commerce. My name is Cal. In this video, I want to talk about don't delete stuff, comment stuff out. Now, <clears throat> the reason for this is if you ever need to come back and use that code, it's a lot easier to find something that you want to roll back instead of having to rewrite it, right? Um, <clears throat> in addition, this is a huge consideration when it comes time to upgrading or updating your theme. And I'm going to do a whole video about updating a theme and you'll really understand why this is. But when you delete stuff out, then when you run your update, you're going to bring all that code back because it's going to look like it's new code when really it was old code that you wanted to get rid of. And so what you want is you want to leave the code there, but make it so that it doesn't interfere with things, right? And that it's obvious that you no longer wanted to use that code uh, when you go to update it so that you're not going to bring it back accidentally and have a bunch of new things pop up in your, your store inadvertently. So, you know, you guys are developers and you know that you can comment HTML out like this. And that totally works most of the time. And you can do that for simple HTML elements if you want. But I want to show you the stencil way of commenting things out because sometimes the way that these are bundled, if you comment something out, then script code may still run in there when it actually gets bundled and pushed live. And stencil code sometimes will, you know, act as if it's commented out and other times it won't if you do just like a simple HTML uh, comment. So I want to show you the stencil way to do it. And you can see this in payment-methods-list.html. There's lots of examples where this is, uh, where they've commented things out. You know, if they're using, if they're actually leaving comments or sometimes there's functionality that gets commented out. But you can see here that BigCommerce in this theme actually has, uh, you know, just some comment text here that they surrounded in uh, bracket, bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash and dash dash bracket bracket and so let's do this on a real thing so let's say that we wanted to oh, let me let me turn my uh, stencil start on let's say that we wanted to remove this uh top top banner that's up here right this up here or or let's say that we wanted to just kind of recode it right so we're gonna we're going to recode it um, and say like this is our top banner and so then we have this thing that used to be the top banner that we no longer want anymore so instead of just deleting it we can do the bracket bracket <clears throat> exclamation mark dash dash and then take the closing and put it after that item and so now when we come back here you can see that it got rid of it and now it has a this is our top banner so this is really the cleanest way to do it because it doesn't get rid of this like if you still needed it later that's great if you go to update the theme then when you see this in the update you're gonna you're you're gonna see that it was um you know commented out and you're gonna leave it commented out going forward which is great so <clears throat> the, the two points i'm making in this video number one don't delete stuff. Number two, comment it out, but specifically comment it out with stencil handlebars comments. So bracket, bracket, exclamation, dash, dash, and dash, dash, bracket, bracket. Uh, if you do that, you will cause yourself way fewer problems.